Welcome to another episode of Lego Worlds, and today we have a new showcase to show you guys that just came out. I am Utram, and this new showcase everybody's been asking for for quite a while. Ever since people found a way to get it on the PC early, and Nintendo Switch already gotten a hold of it. So we finally get to see this showcase for ourselves. I'm very excited to show you guys. It took me a while to figure out how to get the character's quest. In a Lego world, anything. And hopefully I can show you guys how to go about getting it. So here I'm starting up Welcome Lego World. To Lego Worlds. And I'm letting it take its time to make sure it grabs the showcases. And some of the old showcases do come back during this showcase grab. So if you miss out on any showcases, you have an opportunity to get some of the older showcases that we had before. I was just interested in the one right now because the one is very exciting to have. <laughs> And I'm hoping they'll bring back some of the other showcases that they had in the past. And I'm hoping to see more new showcases in the future because why not? These showcases are fun to have and it adds more content to our game. And I'm just very excited to have this particular showcase because I've been waiting for this for the longest time. So now I'm building the models. There's one of the old showcases, the Dino Discovery site. Dino Transport Cage is another one you can now get. Jungle Temple Ruin is back there, and the Jungle Camp is back. But here we have Robot Cage. The one and only Robot Cage that everybody's been waiting for, and it's finally out. And I wanted to see if there was any others that was worth mentioning, but it doesn't seem that way. So, further ado, let's go into our game and um, check out this uh, showcase. So, I am very excited. The robot cage has finally made it to LEGO World. I've been waiting for this one since i seen pictures of of it from TT Games and Warner Brothers Studios. And I think it was sort of worth the wait because I'm excited I finally have something that I had to wait for. <laughs> so as I load up my game, I I still don't know why it does this. I think it's a bug. Which I'm gonna have to let them know about. But it keeps sending me back to 
to the beginning. And I don't know why it's sending the me back to the beginning you the because I've been, been playing through. for how long? The world you're on <laughs> and the world it you're yet to explore. Do that. Collect more gold bricks and you'll be able to travel farther afield to bigger worlds with more biomes and a huge variety of new discoveries. So it's kind of strange that it does that, that as a glitch type thing. I think it has to do with the coding, which they have to get that fixed. I heard there's multiple bugs because there's a recent update. So here I'm at the junkyard because I'm exploring it. For other things. So, I'm going to clear out of space, clean it up, like always, before I put the showcase down. Now, get the quest. I sort of been doing one, one thing and then I go with bug, but it's not bug, apparently. I think it's the way it's set up that feels like it's bugged. But that's not the case because it's not really bugged. It's the way they set it up which is different. I wasn't expecting it to play out that way and apparently I learned a new way of unlocking a ca character apparently. So we're going to go to our showcase spins and get the robot cage. Which has nice new items in it. Well, nice new objects, I should say. Like the high-tech security camera. Samurai's X computer terminal, which I think you can get someplace else, I have to look into that. The cage alarm. And the cage floodlight. So you get like three neat little goodies objects you didn't have. Which I'm happy about. It adds more stuff to play with. Now, inside the cage is the robot himself, which you can't scan him right away. And you have, of course, the stud chest, which everybody likes studs. <laughs> so, the first me method I did was try to beat him up. Well, that didn't work. So, I went to get the stud chest, just to get it out of the way. And then I decided to restart the game and come back to it and see if I can get a hold of this character. There has to be a way to get him. Alright, well, beating him up doesn't work. He doesn't have a quest, it seems, I thought. And that's not the case. <laughs> this was the opposite of what I was thinking to unlock a character, but now it's something we should keep in mind that there's another method of unlocking characters. A new method, I should say. So, here I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to unlock them or how am I going to showcase them to you guys so I wanted to play around with the ca camera car as well so I did that a little bit in this episode just trying to get a feel for it 
how it would work, how to use it, you know. And I'm not used to jumping into this car because it's got two places to go and I want the camera side. So we're going to zoom in. And that's the evil robot as you can see behind the cage. And this is the, this is the funniest thing. I I'm was shocked this happened. I had to record this. The guy opens up the cage, looks inside, <laughs> and goes by and closes the cage. Like, yeah, you're not getting out. <laughs> that was the money shot right there. I like that one. That was pretty cool. So I decided to remove the bars. You can't scan them though. So to get him, you gotta let him defeat you and this exclamation will pop up and you will get a quest and the quest will tell you just to remove the op certain objects around the cage. The reason I don't have this footage, it didn't um, save the footage even though I told it to. So I'm just going to replay the couple of clips repeatedly. Um, so yeah, you can see here that the key here is to get defeated to get the quest, which is the new mechanic, which I was not expecting. And here I am playing as the robot, Rift the Robot, inside the cage, <laughs> which I thought was kind of awesome, especially that part, that they were in sync. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below, and I'll see you on the next LEGO Worlds episode.